All right, I'm here at AWS reInvent day three, and look who I have with me, Praveen, who's the chief architect at Alpha Ori Technologies. Praveen, welcome to the Ravit Show. It is such a pleasure to chat with you today. Thanks, Ravit. Nice uh, to meet you. Yeah. Thanks for having me. Yeah, for sure. And uh, I'm pretty sure uh, you know we have met off air, and I've known about Alpha Ori from you and so many great things that you're doing in the space. Uh, but just for our audience, would you like to introduce yourself and uh, tell us a little about Alpha Ori as well? Yeah, definitely. Um, so Alpha Ori is a company in the maritime space. Yeah. Uh, we collect data from sailing ships okay. and use it to deliver value to stakeholders. Yep. Uh, we have primarily three products. So SmartShip okay. is a product, our flagship product, which collects right. high-frequency data. Right. And uh, Smart Voyager is a lightweight product. And uh, there is another one which is called ShipArm, which is a ERP. Yep. So all of these uh, depend on data coming from ships. Uh, specifically, the smart ship, which uses high-frequency data. Yeah. 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 And and uh, that is where our association with data stacks comes in. Yeah. Uh, where uh, we are able to handle a large volume and high frequency of data. Yeah. Exactly. And I'm pretty sure you know uh, folks are eager to know more about the application of cutting edge, uh, real-time AI, predictive analytics solution to the maritime transportation industry and how it all works as well. Because uh, to be honest, that's a fairly new industry to me uh, and how it all works is uh, quite new to me. So I would love to learn a little more about that if you can share. So, uh, shipping is, people don't think about it too much, but 90% of the world's cargo uh, goes through the sea. Yeah, yeah. So it's, it's a huge, uh, uh, part of our lives, although we don't exactly. realize it. And that's where uh, we come in. Uh, our platform helps reduce emissions. Mm. Uh, okay. so, so there has been a mandate from United Nations uh, to reduce emissions, net zero, uh, reduce it. So that's where uh, Alpha Ori's product, SmartShip, helps collect the data. We run all the machine learning AI algorithms to uh, drive various modules. Yeah. Uh, so one of them is for example, a fuel optimization module, yeah. where we provide routing recommendations to mm -hmm. ships, uh, whereby we take in weather, uh, you know, current ocean uh, winds and things like that, look into the future, and then we recommend a route which saves tons of fuel to the ship. Yeah, right? exactly. So until now, we estimate we have saved approximately 100,000 metric tons of fuel. Oh, that's huge. Yeah, yeah. and uh, roughly close to $50 million in savings for our customers. So, oh. so yeah. this is all built, uh, this is just one of the applications. We have several uh, other modules in the platform. Yeah. One of the other interesting applications is uh, anomaly detection, where yeah. we are able to use AI uh, to actually detect uh, changes in parameters uh, to predict machinery failure, for example. Oh, wow. So, yeah. So, yeah. No, I think those are great examples that you've shared and uh, yeah. good to learn a little about the, yeah. um, you know, the how it all works in the shipping world. So, thanks for that. Also, uh, I'm a little curious about, you know, I know we've spoken off air, but uh, can you tell us a little about how Alpha Ori doubled its business with seamless serverless uh, scalability of Astra DB? Because that kind of plays a very important role, right? Yeah, so the story is we started with Cassandra, yeah. open source Cassandra uh, for our solution. Yeah. So we have uh, servers on the ships as well as uh, we have servers on Amazon Cloud. Yeah. And so these servers, physical servers which are on the ships, they need a database and yeah. the cloud also need a database. And on the ship also we need redundancy. So oh. all this leads to only one platform, one pro uh, solution, which is Cassandra. Because Cassandra is uh, masterless, so it, yeah. um, and, and that was the solution we selected. But now, slowly we started increasing the number of vessels. Nice. And, uh, we also capture a large amount of data. So we, I didn't mention this, but we have about 3,000 to 5,000 data points on any ship. Mm -hmm. Captured every 30 seconds. Okay. So with this scale of uh, data, 
uh, and the number of ships, we had a challenge managing the cluster on the cloud yeah. ourselves. And we are a startup, uh, we were a startup, uh, you know, we are now a uh, larger uh, organization, yeah. but still we operate in a startup culture. But so 300, uh, sorry, 3,000 to 5,000 data points every 30 seconds coming in from almost 400, 500 ships today. Yeah. Uh, that's a large uh, amount of data. And our team was finding it difficult to manage the cluster. So that's where we approached uh, data stacks uh, for the enterprise yeah. uh, solution from the uh, data stacks. And data stacks enterprise came in, it helped us orchestrate, creating the instances, things like that. Made it easy. Made it easy, right. But with further scale, we were even having challenges maintaining the number of instances, building exactly. it, things yeah. like that. And that's where Astra came in. So Astra completely takes the management of your hands. So for creating a new instance, you don't need to go, uh, you know, spend three days uh, and, and yeah. securing the cluster and things like that. So with Astra, you just do multiple clicks, configure, and you, you launch a Cassandra cluster. Yeah. So at Cassandra, the thing is, if you don't do it right, uh, you are okay for the short term, but uh, in the long, long term, term yeah. uh, you have to do it right, meaning schema, uh, you know, managing the cluster, security, right. and the, all the different aspects around it. So being an enterprise uh, solution SaaS provider, we are really concerned about security and other aspects for the customer. Very true. And that's where uh, we see Datastax Astra as our partner. Okay, this, so, is a, this, is, this is amazing information. Thanks for sharing all the insights, uh, yeah. Praveen. Uh, another quick question, I know uh, we are in the world of uh, Vector databases now, RAG. Yeah. Uh, how do you see the future of uh, databases in uh, even the JNAI world? Uh, do you have any thoughts that you would like to share with our audience? Yeah, definitely. So we have been in discussions with Datastax and uh, AWS nice. uh, for some of our use cases uh, with the recent product launch uh, from Datastax around uh, the vector search. Yeah. Um, so we uh, have several use cases. So in general category, I wouldn't go into the details as it's too early for us to yeah. reveal any of the specifics. Yeah. But but uh, generally these fall in um, you know categories like uh, helping the user navigate uh, the website in a much more uh, uh, user-friendly manner. User -friendly, so yeah. instead so. of do going through hoops, uh, trying to reach a page which has a particular report you want, you oh. just ask for some data and it just grabs it, uh, okay. you know, understands your question, grabs it and pro provides you. That's one kind of a problem. So another problem we have uh, internally is trying to explain certain decisions to the customer. So for example, we do have uh, several applications which drive, which are driven by machine learning. Yeah. So the problem with this is the, the explaining this uh, the aspect of uh, the decision made by an AI yeah. to the end user is not very uh, uh, apparent. Mm. So that's where Gen AI could probably be used to summarize our uh, thinking process in providing a particular recommendation. Yeah. If we recommended a ship to go from a place A to place B via a sp specific path, yeah. and there is a question as to why this path was taken. Uh, the answers are easy. Yeah. yeah. Wow. So I those are it. some of the use cases. Yeah. And of course, chatbots. Hundred uh, percent. Like, so. like the basic ones, kind of also kind of are covered in that. So this was good, Praveen. I think uh, you have shared some amazing insights with us today on the Robert Show, and uh, it is such a pleasure to host you. Uh, yeah. Thanks again for doing this, and uh, definitely looking forward to our uh, chat. I can definitely chat more about you because you have such good insights uh, we'll definitely do a longer session and uh, get more insights for our audience thank yeah. you once again for doing yeah. this thank you nice thank you. Uh, to meet you yeah, thanks for here. having me thank you very much Appreciate it.